Welcome one and all, this is Damn Ugly Doggy coming to you with another episode of This Land is My Land. In today's action we are going to go with part 3 of creating a new grinder campaign from an insane mode campaign, hoping for more loot. Really enjoyed the first grinder campaign that I created. I ended up spending a lot of time playing it, got a lot of loot from it learned a couple of new tricks which I am going to try to apply to this one. So as you can see we are on day 108, 13 camps, 206 warriors and we have 12% of our land. We got a little bit of work ahead of us. So far all we've done is established ourselves, taken over this bottom corner, cleared it out, made sure it was fairly safe and now we just need to push into the red blob. As you can also see, I've been playing around in my feeder campaign, which is on day 4568. Quite a long campaign. 62 camps, 3,341 warriors. Having a lot of fun in there as well. I've been taking out the towns and letting them come back. Then I take out a few of the camps, get some loot. They reestablish and I repeat the process. That way, even though this is a feeder campaign, which is all about gathering, I'm still able to have some action and play when I choose. So it's been kind of fun. But let's go ahead and jump on into the insane mode campaign. And I'll show you what I got going on. The only thing I've done in this campaign since the last time I streamed it was came in brought in some weapons and a few other items and uh, basically established my first 13 villages. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself leaving all the villages with miscellaneous items. You kind of want to try to organize as soon as you can. My rule of thumb is between 10 and 15 villages. You want to stop what you're doing, organize the inventory of those villages and start establishing a pattern that you can follow as you progress. I plan on having 60 to 70 villages pre-treaty on this campaign and all of the villages will be armed with the same weapons. Basically have the same items in each. The only village that won't will be the first village which is my core village and that's the village that's going to hold most of my loot. I'm trying something I haven't done before in a campaign and I'll show you that in just a second once it loads up. Should make for some interesting gameplay as they start sending in patrols and raids and then finally the treaty comes. So I hope everyone's doing well. The sun is shining where you're at. Uh, weather's beautiful outside my window, and unfortunately, life has been quite busy lately. A lot of noise around me, which is why I haven't streamed in the last two, three weeks. So I do apologize for the little hiatus. Just glad to be back. Been looking forward to getting back on the campaign for quite a while here. Finally got the wife at work and the house to myself. <laughs> Time to play. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what we got going on here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And let's show you what our villages are holding. Every village, as you can see here, is armed with the same weapons. I'm going to arm every village, all 60 to 70 of them with only high quality rifles except for the optical mod which is regular qualities but beyond that they're all going to be armed with only high quality rifles they all have plenty of ammo and plenty of curatives I've also added me to each one in case 
at some point it becomes overpopulated. I won't lose any of my warriors. One of the keys to my strategy is attracting as many warriors as quickly as I can to my village. Normally I would arm all my villages with longer range weapons, no shotguns, but I want to see how they do. As you can also tell, I haven't loaded any handguns, any revolvers, simply because I don't want that short range. I don't want my boys running out there trying to get within range and coming up against an optical mod armed fellow and just getting wiped out before they get even halfway close. Uh, the only other thing I'm debating is whether or not I want to leave war bows. The, um, I'm not going to be gathering, having any of my boys gather. There's no need. But I may transfer uh, from one village to the next. And in order to do that, I don't really want to arm them with guns. So I would give them war bows. Also, if I were to send out attacks to clear a village or clear a an active camp. I don't really want to send my high quality rifles. I'll be sending them with war bows. This is why I've left the war bows in the, in the villages. I'm hoping that if they do get attacked, they're going to be smart enough to take the high quality weapons versus the war bows. So we'll see how that plays out. I've, I haven't actually paid enough attention yet to see if they always take the war bows or not. Now we're looking at the map and let's see what we got going on. We've got a couple of villages in precarious spots. Obviously, we need to clear out this area. we got some group over here for some reason. Not sure why. I'm pretty sure I have... I do. I have my boys positioned. When I'm not uh, actively playing, I like to position my war parties in a perimeter. Just makes me feel safer. Good luck coming at me. So let's go ahead and get the boys together. See, everybody is well armed. Looks like it. Yeah, we're solid. I'm going to put them all on open fire. And I'm going to have them come back to me. Where's my horse? Oh, yeah. I just remembered I also put in my mail some hay and a few more stone arrows to make sure I've got plenty. I don't have any hay bait in this campaign and since I'm not using my boys together it would be wise to bring hay bait for my feeder campaign. Because I am sure my horse is going to get hit. It does look like let's take a peek. Looks like my market is doing quite well. I like it. Not much chat going on. But you can see all the items I've been selling over just the last few minutes, actually. That's kind of nice. Let's take a quick peek on the market. Uh, what do we got? I always like a cheap optic mod. It's a little pricey. Somebody's undercutting. Just fine. Nobody's giving me my parts that I want. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Alright, I'll buy that for a dollar. I can go ahead and bring this one in to this campaign. I've got 26 minutes until I can get my next Ancestor bows. Uh, all, all in all, I have something like... Oh, what do I have? Close to 300 Ancestor bows now? All of my, most of them in my uh, feeder campaign. I'm not sure why I'm collecting them, but it's something to do. Alright, where do I want to go? This guy's just kind of running around doing nothing. I want to get rid of this stupid thing. I really don't like this bar right there. Looks like I can come up this way and kind of clear back over to this direction. Although this section right here is the one that's kind of worrying me. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and start with that. I do want to check, make sure I've got, I do, and I've got 50, I've got plenty of curatives. Alright, we're solid. 
Normally I wouldn't suggest that you use fast travel in the beginning of the game because time really isn't on your side. But I'm playing a little differently and I really don't care how many guys they bring in. <laughs> bring it on, boys. Alright, let's go get us some. Where's my horse? Looks like my boys are ready to go. Let's see if we can spot these guys. We can. They don't exactly have spare horses. So I want my boys to gather. I'm going to take them off the horse. Because I don't want them to lose their horses. And we're going to go on that tack. One. Two. Three. And four. Hopefully these guys don't get too far away from where we are before my boys reach them. And I'm going to go ahead and go back on my horse. Just in case I need to catch that wagon on the road. We'll go ahead and give our my boys a little bit of a distraction. Oh, these guys got good shots. Their aim is definitely on. Not gonna do him much good though. Help him out. Who is hitting me? Good ham and ham. Take care of the one guy that I know. They seem to be having a hard time with this guy. Did I get him or did they? I got him. Are my boys armed with... Oh, I didn't notice. Okay. Yes, they are all armed with stun arrows. I keep seeing in comments on the Discord and such that stun arrows do not work. Hmm. I think they do. What kind of loot we got? Oh, all of one... <laughs> nice haul. Alright, so... Let's see if I missed anybody. Now I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't actually played a campaign for, like I said, two, three weeks. So I need a minute to sharpen myself a little bit. Looks like that's it for there. I see him. I think there's somebody coming down this way too. Interesting. Let's go with follow me. Where's he going? That is not convenient. other guy go. Now I've got to track this other guy down, huh? Let's get my horse. Where's this guy at? Really? Huh.
Doesn't look like he's armed. Come on. So he should be pretty easy pickings. Where'd he go? Let's get back on concentration. And go find this guy. I don't see him. There he is. That was a mess. Boom. Oh. To... Looks like I want to head up this way. Uh, I go about there. That was definitely not much of a haul. Let's see if we can find us some action. I always like to check these little spots. You never know what you're going to find. Eh, nothing too exciting. I probably should have healed my horse, huh? <laughs> I just noticed my horse is half dead. Well, of course, I just rode through a bunch of bullets, so that might be why. But I forgot to bring the uh, hay baits with me. Run through a little bit of wolf territory here. There they are. Let's see if I'm going to outrun them. Doesn't look like it. I may have to take care of these wolves. No? Excellent. Oh, there's one. Where are you at? Alright. Get back on Stunhouse. Let's see where we are. Just a little ways. And what kind of port is this? No, they don't have gates. All right, I like it. This is why I usually leave a uh, ash bow and explosive arrows in case I come across the place at night. Let's go ahead and send my boys in. There's somebody down that way? No, that's just a bush, okay. Oh, there are people here though. Alright. Take out the guards. That's gonna take my boys a second. stand up, get them going a little quicker. Do 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 sometime today. them 
smaller objective. Oh, and there's one guy down this way I didn't see. No, that's not a guy, that's a shadow. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Dude. Really? Wow. I'm a true noob. Hmm. My boys don't seem to be doing much. That's not good. Why are you not shooting? See how that goes. Me and my boys couldn't hit. Make sure everybody's going to make it through this. Meanwhile, I know there's like four guys over this way. Make sure I do my part. Wow. And of course, I'm just assuming my, my boys are handling their side. going on in here. Oh, shoot. Looks like I got a lot of dudes in, up in here. Definitely not be able to just stand out in the open like that. Come on, dude, get out of my way. Alright, what about the guys they've already dropped? Oh, I just took a shotgun to the face. That guy's already done. Damn! My boys are not helping me much. So 
so much for stun arrows. <laughs> sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. What you gonna do? Sounds like they're just nailing somebody that doesn't need to be constantly now. That would be this guy. That guy is a mess. Who's left? Got him. Looks like I did lose a warrior. That sucks. There's gotta be somebody left. Thought I saw a guy over this side, yeah. The reason I'm using stun arrows right now is because I'm trying to maximize the amount of warriors that I can receive. In order to do that, you need to intimidate fools. And I still have somebody around. Inside the barn, huh? Son. <laughs> I could watch that all day long. Ooh, nice gun. Is that everybody yet? Still not. Huh. Nice sharks. Like it. Who else? He's intimidated. I didn't notice the message saying that it was cleared, but looks like maybe it was. I need to find a blueprint. Hopefully I can do this quickly. All I need is a blueprint. And since I am burning as I go, I need to make sure that I check every place until I find one. I don't want to burn my blueprints. Try to be somewhat systematic about this. Who's shooting where? Looks like this was the last guy. There it is. This 
looking for a blueprint here. It's not looking too good. I want this to be a keeper campaign, so I want to make sure I don't miss any. There it is. Alright, let's see what we got. 1805 experimental pistol. Alright, better than nothing. Let's get my boys on me. I did lose one dude. Actually, I want them all to lose. As you can see, they gain a couple of arrows back. Nothing spectacular. Let them get their looting on. Alrighty. Meanwhile, I don't really have anybody there to loot this spot. Actually, go over here and get this fast travel point. All oh, my boys should be mounted by now. Everybody's on a horse. We are. Let's go with follow me. Cure up a little bit. Let's drop off the loot. up some hay. <laughs> Stand in the middle of my horse. And put that on him. Let's also... Let's see. Two ancestor bows. Let's get an ash and some exploding arrows. And then we're going to put that, <coughs> excuse me, on my horse. Apparently weighs too much. Uh, 
I definitely want that. Let's put as many of these back on as I can. Alright, 17 it is. We're coming up on this. I forget what the first bond level items I needed were, but we're almost there. Let's drop off the extra hay. Make sure we're armed. And move on to the next spot. Where do I want to go? I want to go up here. Using auto travel is awesome. It looks like this village could reach that port. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. We can. Alright, we're going to go ahead and send them boys. We're going to give them bows. I'm going to have these guys loot for me. Mostly I'm just giving them bows because of the, that wolf spot. have them go ahead and start the loot. Let's go free up some dudes. I probably want to go about what here. All my boys caught up with me. There he is. That's going to work out quite nicely. Wait for my guys to catch up. See how that goes. Try to find a nice little vantage point here. Let's try it this way. They are all on open fire. These guys just seem to be going wherever they want to go. just do this myself. 
<laughs> I want to be on concentration. One down. Another one bites the dust. He down. Alright. I want to go through the houses. Where are you? Nothing in there. Looks like this was a pretty easy little gel. I wouldn't expect to find another blueprint this quickly, but I am still going to look. And there is still somebody. Where's he hiding? Is that the last one? That is. Let's get some boys out. Meanwhile, we will have my boys. What are you shooting at? I'm gonna have my boys loot. Only two warriors in there, huh? Take a quick peek, just in case. A lot of dimes. Hmm. Near me. I don't need you guys hovering. I just want to make sure I don't leave any blueprints. Nope. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. all that. I don't think I checked that. No. Alright, we good. Uh, me. Get you cured up a little bit. I wish it told you which type of curatives they have on here as well. That would be good to know. Get off of that, dork. So we got a little outpost and we got a town here. Hmm. Do I want to take out the town? No, I'm going to let the town grow a little bit more. I'm just going to take out these and continue my path. And 
everybody solid? How come I have a horse here? Did I lose another dude? No. And you don't have a horse. Everybody has a horse, huh? He must have found one inside, okay. That's fine by me. I'm gonna put them on follow me. And how did those guys do? do are they done? No, they're still up here somewhere. They're still raiding this fort. We've got a little guy over here. Oh, almost missed it. be right over this ridge. Oh man, I suck. Usually there's four guys in these camps. But not always. Looks like this is a tiny one, so... Probably good as we are. Yeah, it was a tiny one. I'm gonna go ahead and loot it. to the next one. want to come a little further in front. It looks like it's right over the ridge here. I'm trying to pick my uh, 
point of attack. Where are you? You're either in the valley or over this ridge. Whoa, it's right there. Alrighty then. Let's just turn around. Where's the front door? Of course, complete opposite side. <laughs> but of course, at least they're all asleep, apparently. Oh. He should have spotted me. Yeah, okay. That's not obvious. Looks like I'm going to need my ancestor bow, buck brush leaf, that's what I needed. Get my boys together. Go ahead and grab this bad boy. Now let's just go with Mary. I mean, that'll be easier. Let's try to have the right bow. All I gotta do is make it inside before anybody wakes the hell up. Damn, son! Yeah, okay. That was a mistake. Oh, shit, he's coming to close the door. Don't close the door, bitch! No! New, new, new. I'm in a world of hurt now. Oh, I'm in trouble. I am just in a bad spot. Damn. Not making good decisions here. I need to cure. Luckily, they don't seem to have the high qual weapons. I need to open that gate up. I definitely need to cure. Before I get my butt knocked down. Where are you at? Shit. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot. Doing this shit solo, huh? A little Rambo action. Alright, let's get the gate open. The rest of my boys in here. guy just does not want to go down. Interesting. That was Harry. 
Now I gotta start picking these guys up. That was definitely Harry. Somebody's gonna now. Get out of the way, dude. That guy was irritating. You guys not see this dude? He's only sitting right in front of you. Come on. Yeah, hit him with the bow. Don't shoot him with the arrow. Don't pull out a knife or nothing. Stupid. Got a little optical rifle there. I think I almost have everybody. I know I've got a guy up on that corner as well. Gotta go get him. I think I'm going to be able to reach this guy. Is he dead? I guess so. Dad? Looks like it. I think I've got one guy. Yep. Oh, of course you get a shot off. And last but not least. He's going to wake up any second here. This is the last guy. No? Another optical, I like it. And that was the last guy, okay. little look for blueprints. A lot of nothing.
looking good. That guy kind of freaked me out. I thought he was still around. Come on, feed me a blueprint. Nice gun parts in here, though. Got to remember to have my guys loot as well. This is the last spot. would stop wasting their arrows would be nice. Alright, let's get them looting. Warriors are kind of irritating me today. They're all on fire back already? Weird. That is irritating. What is the point? I'm just going to get away from that. <laughs> that is so irritating. Alright, I need to come over here. not on a horse yet. He's not. They're too busy shooting that guy to get back on their horse. Stupid. Well, hopefully they figure it out.
wonder if those other two guys ever got back on horses or not. Looks like they did. They did, okay, good. Alright, then I want to go with follow me. What did I need? Brush leaf. I don't even know if I can collect that or not. Where's a safe one? Uh, looks like him. Brush leaf. Just in the wrong area. So that's pretty much not going to happen, is it? It is not. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Alrighty. I can't go gather that myself. Uh, maybe I can. Uh, I wonder... No, nobody has them for sale. <laughs> alright, alright. I need to get that upgraded before it reaches the next tier, though. Which I've got a little ways to go. But if I miss it, then I won't be able to upgrade this first one, which gives my horse a little more health. Let's go ahead and continue on. I think I want to be a little more aggressive here. Um, let's see if my boys can pick up some more stuff here. Try to pick up a few more curatives before I take off. I wonder it's out of arrows. Where you at, dude? Let's go ahead and give you seventy. Uh, actually, let's give you a few medicine too. Now 
now we good. I want everybody on an open fire. Solid. Let's see what we got here. Nice little camp. I got spotted. Damn it. Damn it. Wait for my guys to show up. Just going to run them right through the center. Oh, it sounds like somebody's getting hit. Prefer not to lose any guys. Looks like I'm going to have to help out a little bit. That guy's in a world of hurt. Ah shit, I lost one. Yeah, I may have to switch over to weapons here. That's crazy. Damn. Oh, a lot of scopes. I like it. Like that. Have seen it? Even if I lose one or two warriors in my war party per attack, I'm gaining five to ten as a reward. So it's still. profitable to do it this way, considering the social points that I gain from being able to intimidate everybody, and the fact that I'm able to find all the bodies using detect enemies means I'm also gaining all that loot. And that is everybody, okay. 
quick look around for blueprints. be such a cool grinder. I got a feeling the loot's going to be much better than normal mode. Alrighty. No such luck. It is what it is. Pretty sure already, yeah, I checked all that. Alright. Let's get my boys looting. Let's go with Mirror Me. I will loot. Looks like I've almost killed one guy. What's he got? 32 health left. Not good. guy with no health doesn't pick up any curators. Get you guys all mounted back up. that guy that has no health. You come right, right here. Let's get you hooked up. better. And we're going to swing on over. Do I want to go up this way? Yeah, I probably do. I think I want to take out this account. Everybody actually following me before I get too far away. here. Is that everybody? Alright, 
that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start helping out. Cause my boys just aren't doing that well. Get this guy headed to the outskirts. Take himself a little whiz. that a distraction. How'd this guy go? Really? Damn, I lost another guy. Alright, we're gonna be switching things up here. that house. Oh, come on. Who just shot me? Bastard. Guy still standing. Find the rest of these bodies. Okay, there's still somebody somewhere. I lost a lot of guys. That did not work. Looking like I lost three guys. Oh, groceries. I like it. Ancestor bars. What are you doing with the ancestor bars? What? I'm confused. Why do they have ancestor bars? Oh, I, okay, I must have armed all my guys with ancestor bows and forgot. That's what happens when you play three weeks apart. <laughs> you forget what you set up. We miss. Looks like we lost four guys in that one attack. That's not okay. That's not working for me. Okay. 
I didn't see a, uh, hey, he is alive, alright. Just look behind you, bro. Did he just kill another guy? Yeah, unfortunately the, uh, warriors are not holding up their end of the bargain here. That is not okay. I just lost like five guys from a very simple attack. I'm doing my blueprint search. This place has a lot of groceries. I could use those. Another dude out here. Shows I'm still alive. I guess not. This place deactivated a sign. Check a couple more spots for a possible blueprint. Looks like that's it. Alright. Wow. Yeah, I took a beating on that one. But like I said, you know, I'm a little rusty. Not the best gameplay in the world today. It's alright. Can't win them all. But I do have a plan B. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and go with. Let's get back to the horse. can't actually get to that travel point easily. But that's okay. Actually, I think I will go there. It's a really nice spot. That'd be a perfect spot for a uh, village. is deep in the danger zone. So let's take a look at the map. What do we got going on? So I need to finish clearing out this section. See what I got going on over here. I want to have full control over this whole corner. I'll try to get down in there. Am I headed in the right way? <coughs> Looks like it. This 
would be a perfect spot. Buffalo! Perfect spot for... Actually, that'd be a perfect spot for hunting buffalo. <laughs> Where are you? I want to make sure I don't get these guys off the horses. off this loop. So we've got this fast travel plant now. And I'm actually going to I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and disband this group of guys, put them into this village, what's left of them, I do plan on streaming more actively, I should be okay for a little while. Go ahead and disband these guys. Boom, boom. And they should join this village. And I'm going to come over here. Auto travel will get me over to that point. Looks like it will. Alright, so I have no more war party with me. I have way too many stun arrows on me. They did join that village, which is good. I want to go grab all that. Um, all those grocery get those under control real fast. You should be able to take horses, right? No? How many horses do you have? You have nine. Eh. Go ahead and send them over to do that. What did he gain? 700. Some shotties, a few handguns. Did you get any grocery? Not really. A couple. Some gun parts. Alright. That came, this loot came from that port. I want to go ahead and hit this guy up. Those. I want to drop off a bunch of these stun arrows. Uh, about 270 of them. Let's see what this guy gets. Alright, so. Looking ahead, I knew I wasn't going to use stun arrows for very long. So I set up my second village with arms for war parties. 
these are going to be fun. I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, I want to see how a war party armed with scopes will do. So we're going to arm the next group with quite a few nice weapons here. These are all level 1 guys, though. Level 1, level 1, everybody's level 1. Nobody's leveling up. That is an issue. How many groceries did you bring out? I'm not seeing any. Let's wait till they get back to the village. But yeah, I think I'm going to pretty much call this a stream. Let's just call this me warming back up a little bit. Wasn't the most exciting, productive stream in the world. <laughs> But it's a start. I cleared out this top section. Did I get groceries? Where are you? 185. Eh. That's not too bad. I'm not sure where I would want to put those yet. So I think I'm actually going to put them in the mail. Until I know what I want to do with them. I don't want them to just randomly be eating them. And yeah, that was fun. There we go. Alright, so the next stream I'll go ahead and rearm a war party. Since they're all level 1, I'm not sure that I really want to... Um, give them high quality guns yet. I'm going to have to chew on that. I really need to get these boys leveled up. I also need to finish filling, occupying all of these villages in case anything pops up like gatherers or anything. I don't, I definitely, considering what I have all these villages armed with, I definitely don't want them to get wiped out. <laughs> And if I only had six guys, like this one only has eight guys in it, if they got hit by a couple gold gathering parties, they'd probably get wiped out, and then I would have to go find all these guns again. That does not sound like fun to me. So I want to avoid that at all costs. But I think in the next stream, my goal is going to be to finish clearing out this section, work my way over here, and make sure I have this full corner under control. As you saw, there is a town right up here. I'm going to have to debate on whether or not I want to take that out yet. I probably do. Seems like that would make the most sense. And I also have to decide which direction I want to go. Do I want to come up here or do I want to come over this way? I'm leaning towards headed up this way because that way I'll be through the plains and into the forest. And as you see now, I need buckbrush teeth, but because I'm not in the forest, or buckbrush leaf, but because I'm not in the forest, I can't gather it. So, yeah. A few things to chew on there. Alrighty, what time is it here? Yeah, I need to eat myself a little bit of lunch, and I'll see if I can't come back a little later today and continue the campaign. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for stopping by, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace out.